Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Fallout 4 mods. I'm making this video a bit earlier this week, so it's going to be a shorter video, but next week we'll be back to normal. So let's go. World War 1 weapons by Trophy Hunter. Just in time for Battlefield 1, this mod has three melee weapons from the Great War. You've got a US 1917 trench knife with a damage of 33 and a swing speed of medium. British Cavalry Sabre has a damage of 38 and a swing speed of slow. And the Deadly Trench Club has a whopping 50 damage with a medium speed. All of these are custom mesh and texture, and they look fantastic. They can't be upgraded though, so make sure you have your melee perks leveled up. PPSH-41 by No Life Pothead Ajhakra. It's bedtime for Babushka with the PPSH-41. This is a beautiful weapon with a ton of mods for everyone to enjoy. There are 9 receivers, 2 barrels, 2 stocks, 2 mags, 2 sights, and 1 barrel iron sight. The only problem I had was with the aperture sight, there's a black square there. That's probably something messed up with the texture, but besides that, this is an awesome weapon, and I uh, really like it. <laughs> throwable Bullet Casing by Genax. Thrown like a grenade, but acting as a distraction, the throwable bullet casing is perfect for stealth or non-violent players to get enemies out of the way, and then shoot them. Simply throw the casing, watch your enemy check it out, and then sneak by. Or shoot them. You can craft them at a chem workbench under utility, and even pick them up after you throw them and then shoot your enemies. Katana's Mask by Owl Lappin. With an agility and perception increase of 1, the Katana Mask is stylish and good for finding enemies. Custom mesh and texture, this is a very nice accessory for any assassin on the run. Assaultron Miscellaneous Armor by Red Portal. It's been a while, but we've got another robot armor mod. I thought at first that this was actually a regular player armor, but I was pleasantly surprised that it was actually just a robot armor mod, because we haven't had one of those in a while. Included in the mod is a new head armor, a Saltron male torso, three new front and two back torso armors. You also get a Saltron leg armor and an option for fat man legs as well with the armor too. This definitely adds some variety to the Saltron class of robots, and I'm looking forward to see more robot armor add-ons like this. Bunker Builder by Stuke. North of Ten Pines Bluff, a bunker is available and ready for expansion. Inside are blueprints to learn and also to forget how to build onto the bunker which is kind of weird. There are six options in the Bunker Builder category, which can be found in structures. These are very simple, but it's enough where you can build something without getting overwhelmed with a ton of options. You can then decorate, light up, and even populate your bunker with settlers if you set up a beacon. Probably better than mine, because it looks like a hobo decorated this area. Along with that, raiders will attack your bunker occasionally, which I think is pretty neat. Nest Survival Bunkers version 1.1 by Sergeant Pectoral is major. Adding over 20 bunkers, this mod adds some beautiful shelters around the Commonwealth with a surprising amount of variety. Bunkers are usually hidden and range in size from very, very tiny to vault size. Sometimes bunkers will be empty, with only skeletons to greet you, and other times ferals, raiders, or anything else living will be there instead. Let's do this! I really enjoyed the variety of these bunkers and that they all seem to either have a little bit of a backstory based on random notes or even terminals that you can find and even how the skeletons are arranged you can see what they were doing when they died or if they shot themselves or if there was an argument or something it's really cool I'm not sure if the mod author is going to add any more but this is great for any playthrough it's fun to discover or even stumble upon these and see if there's anyone in there or if there's good loot or just to see the story of what happened and uh, if you don't want to have to stumble around and look for them, there is an image on the description page that has all the locations, so you can just look at that and then head out and look for the bunkers. We admire the week! <laughs> CE4 Visitor by El Pollo Azul. El Pollo has been blasting weird mods out this past week, and there are actually quite a few that I had to choose from, but this one was my favorite. I think I'm gonna leave some of uh, El Pollo's mods for future weird weeks, because some of them are really cool. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, just pumping them out like no one's business. But anyhow, the CE4 Visitor is a flare gun that when shot at your enemies, summons an alien ship that rips their clothes off and takes them away to an unknown fate. This can be done with any NPC, even essential ones, and turrets too. So don't accidentally shoot someone or something that you don't want to disappear. 
There's also a secret weapon called the PS40, which is a plasma pistol that does 48 ballistic and energy damage, but which is dropped every time you use it. So whenever you shoot it, it drops, and then you have to pick it up, and then you use it again, and then it drops again. Probably not the best weapon for an assassin. But if you miss, you can just send him to the aliens, I guess. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week. Thanks again for watching, and sorry for the short video. Like I said, I was away for most of the weekend, and I'm only getting back today. So yeah. Thanks for watching again. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the future. Away!